Hey, and welcome back to another video. So this is just a quick video uh, to answer a question that a lot of people have been uh, asking online and asking me as well, uh, mainly some of my friends and stuff. Uh, it is, there's this thing going around saying that Windows 11 needs a, a new component for your computer or laptop called a TPM. And is that really required to upgrade to Windows 11? <clears throat> and I'll be answering in that in answering that in this video. But uh, before we jump right in, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And check out my social media down in the description below. And now let's jump right into this. So what is a TPM first? Now, if you don't want the explanation on what a TPM is, you can skip to the uh, time in the uh, slide bar. I've segmented the video so you can skip to the time in the slide bar if you don't want to uh, know what a TPM is. But <clears throat> for those who want to know what a TPM is, a TPM is basically a trusted platform module. It's basically hardware security for your computer. It's it's all got to do with like data encryption, uh, decryption, authentication, and uh, generally stuff like that. <clears throat> you don't require one of these to run Windows 10 and earlier. Um, but with Windows 11, uh, Microsoft has made it a point that if you want to upgrade to Windows 11, you do need a TPM. Uh, <clears throat> this thing is um, a it's like on, on PCs, it's a separate chip that you have to buy separately. And uh, on laptops, well, if, you, if your laptop already doesn't have one, there's nothing you can do about it. So that's what a TPM is. It's a uh, chip that processors, encryption, decryption, credentials, etc., etc. <clears throat> it's basically hardware security for your laptop or your, uh, your PC. Now, for those who skipped up to now who didn't want to see what a TPM is, uh, the simple question uh, of whether you need a TPM or not to upgrade to Windows 11 is yes. If your PC or laptop does not have a TPM, if you have a PC, you have to go get it from the shop. If you have a laptop, well, there's nothing you can do. That's basically the simple answer, but here's the more uh, extended explanation. So now if you go to Microsoft's website, um, now I'm doing this on the phone, so I'm not going to get that option. There's an option where it allows you to download this tool on Microsoft's Windows 11 website. And by the way, the website looks surprisingly similar to what Apple's website looks. So I don't know if Microsoft is trying to be Apple here because they're definitely doing something that Apple would do, uh, restricting users to buying more stuff which is the TPM, because you have to buy a TPM if you're on a PC. <clears throat> but anyway, so if you're on the website, uh, you basically, uh, there's, there's this tool there, you could go select it, download it, and run it, and it'll tell you if your PC can run Windows 10 or not, Windows 11 or not. So here are the minimum system requirements, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people already covered this. So one gigahertz, uh, it should be a dual core processor. So two cores or more, as it says there, two cores or more, one gigahertz processor, 64-bit, uh, it should be 64-bit, so no 32-bit, uh, uh, four gigs of RAM, pretty eight gigs are standard now, so four gigs is no, I'm pretty sure no one still runs four gigs, 64 gigs of storage on your local disk C, uh, another annoying thing is DirectX 12. Your graphics card should be DX12 compatible. Uh, so, I mean, if you have a really older graphics card, it's not gonna work with Windows uh, 11. <clears throat> so graphics card should be DX12 compatible. The display should have an output resolution of 720p or above, that's fine. That's, I don't think anyone runs 720p, but whatever. Uh, should be 720p or above. <clears throat> And those are the general specs. Now, a lot of people think, okay, cool, though I already have those specs, but as you, as you can see here, TPM, Trusted Platform Module, you have to have one of those. And now, for example, my PC um, is an older one. The board is an ASRock Z97 Pro 4, so it's an older board. Um, I, have a, I run a 4770K on that thing. So, it's old and when I went to search for a TPM port, a TPM module for it, it's like $40. I, I eventually got it for $30 on Amazon because there was one seller selling it for $30. But in general, it's $40 and it's only made by ASRock and there's not many of them around. So if your board has a specific 
TPM module. You, you will have to find that specific TPM module. <clears throat> Mine was an 18 pin, well, 17, because there's one pin mi missing, so nine by two. There are smaller ones like 13 pin and then 12 pin. <clears throat> there's also an, a four by two and eight pin, so if you have a newer board, you'll be fine. You can find those more or, more easily. But if you're running an older board, you're gonna have some trouble finding a TPM. So if you really wanna upgrade, you might as well run and go get your port, your, your TPM module now, cause those things are gonna go fast. And older boards have, the, the TPM modules are in limited stock cause no one's manufacturing them anymore. So they're in limited stock and you're gonna be having, you're gonna have a problem finding them. So uh, I'd suggest closing this video, run, go get it. Uh, if you really w wanna um, upgrade to Windows 11. This is this is honestly really sucky because we all blast Apple for like all their restrictions. You need this to work, you need an extra port, you need an extra cable to uh, expand your USB port, blah, 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 blah. But Microsoft, the, what they're doing here is basically basically something that Apple would do. You have to specifically buy a certain part um, for your computer for it to run Windows 11. And uh, if you're on a laptop, uh, I don't know, dude, there's, there's probably nothing you can do. <clears throat> there's talk about like emulated T, uh, TPM uh, on like this article, there's like software based, and there's a chance that computers that use firmware or hypervisor based TPM may receive some sort of update. But again, they say, but may, many will not. So there is a, I think there's a form of uh, software TPM. Um, it's like a emulated TPM. I'm not an expert, by the way, don't quote me on these. Um, I'm only good with computer hardware, not software stuff. So um, there is a chance that if you already have a laptop that has an emulated TPM or a built-in TPM, uh, you'll get the update. But then again, <clears throat> A, it's most probably a physical built-in TPM chip. So software TPM, maybe not. Um, I don't know even if software, T, they say uh, firmware hypervisor, but I don't know even if that exists. So don't quote me on that. <clears throat> but either way, uh, most business laptops and higher end laptops will always have a TPM. So I don't think that if you have a $3,000 gaming laptop, you're gonna be in trouble. I'm pretty sure there's a TPM on that thing. But if you're like one of those people that just doesn't want to purchase a such an expensive laptop or have not purchased already and you just went for the mid-range or the upper mid-range maybe four hundred to thousand dollars <throat> there's a chance that yours may or may not have a tpm you'll just have to use that tool like i said earlier uh to download and see if your laptop is compatible or not and according to what i've seen online not all laptops have a TPM. So people who use laptops are in a really bad spot here. <clears throat> and people who use PCs are gonna have a bad time hunting down TPMs for their older boards because the, 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 the pin layouts are different and blah, 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 blah. It's just a mess. I honestly hope Microsoft uh, rolls back on this and removes this requirement because it's really gonna hurt their sales. Uh, well, not sales, their popularity because I think Windows 11 is free to update if you're running a licensed version of Windows 10. Um, <clears throat> I think up to now there's no specific date of release, but it's going to be around November because uh, they're as of me recording this video, they're running their um, they're running their there's it's like a keynote thing going on. I think now I'm not watching it, but I saw some articles that are being live updated. They said that it'll be in the upcoming holiday. So the upcoming holiday means probably they mean around November, December, something like that. So Windows 11, hope it's around that just hope to see it around that time november december i can't confirm but uh if you're on a pc and you need to upgrade go find your tpm those things are going to be hard to find if you have an older board if you have a newer board chances are the tpm is already built in or you can easily find it if you have a more powerful or business laptop you're probably good to go if you have a basic laptop uh i'm really sorry i don't know really what to say <clears throat> however like they've said on their website uh those like i don't think it's here uh but they they did say eventually like when i ran that software as well it said that even though your computer is not compatible you're still going to get windows 10 updates security updates so considering how long microsoft supported windows xp for like 
what, eight to 10 years after it got obsolete, uh, you're gonna still be good with Windows 10 for many years to come, but <clears throat> it's still nice to have the latest version of Windows, don't you think? It's really, probably has a lot of new features and I have not looked into it in detail, but still, you know, it's nice to have the latest Windows available. And also for gamers who run older graphics cards, this is gonna be a bit annoying, the DirectX 12 thing, because graphics cards are exorbitantly priced these days because of the whole scalping mess on the scalping scum that buy stuff and like uh, sell them for really high val resale value. Uh, those people are just assholes, but the, it is what it is. So <clears throat> that is the uh, compatibility issue with Windows 11 and whether or not you need a TPM. The simple answer is yes, you need a TPM, but I still hope Microsoft rolls back on this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you out with your upgrade decision or whatever. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.